Welcome back to my studio. This is Art by Julie E. I'm Julie E. Sorry if I look a little scary. I took my mask off. <laughs> but this is, after all, a Halloween video, right? Um, <laughs> welcome to October. Um, we're going to have fun with this little metal jack-o'-lantern. And we're going to have use some pouncers. Kind of like we did for the Tree of Life I did just a little while ago. You can go back. It's like a video or two back. And um, yeah, we're just going to pounce him and make him even more adorable than he already is. And um, I got this, I believe, from Michael's for around $15. But you can find other metal decor items like at the uh, Dollar Tree or dollar and up tree so you just have to be careful with some of these from Dollar Tree or Dollar General wherever you shop for stuff because um, the edges are a bit sharp or, yeah so be careful with these uh, especially if you're doing this around kids and stuff you don't want them grabbing it and slicing their fingers open and stuff it's something to be aware of so but it is really fun inking on these types of metal objects, metal decor, and I enjoy it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to need 99% isopropyl alcohol, which I have in my little bottles here. We're going to need some orange colors, and they can be any inks you want, any ink brands you want. Let's see, this is Ember by Ranger. This is... Sunset Orange by Ranger. Do I have a pinata orange? Let's see. Um, if you like my little ink carousel, you can find this on Amazon. I'll put a link for it in the description. Here we go. Calabaza Orange by Pinata. But there's other oranges out there too. Doesn't matter. Just have fun. Um, let's see. I have some Picasso too. Where are my Picasso? There they are. Oh. These I got off Amazon and they are really inexpensive and a great way to start practicing your inks. Here we go, marigold, that'll be fun. All right, so there. And you can mix and match your inks with each other too. So, there we go. Let me put that back down there. Um, bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah, pouncers. Uh, these are Ranger pouncers and felt pads that I also got off Amazon, but you can probably find them at a hobby store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or wherever. Um, I think Blake and Jerry's has them also, so go ahead and check those sites out. Um, they're just Velcro and they hook right on there like that, nice and easy. You want some nitrile gloves. Get some nitrile gloves on because this is not rubbing alcohol. This is not 72% household rubbing alcohol. This is 99% medical grade alcohol. And it can cause problems to your body, even if it's just absorbed through the skin or inhaled. Now, I'm not wearing a respirator over my face to stop inhaling it, just for the fact that the amount of alcohol we're gonna to use today is so minimal, it's really not gonna put out a lot of fumes but I still have a window open and my air purifier running over there just to make sure the air stays clean. So, all right, um, let's see, where to start? I guess we start anywhere. Let's start on the back and work our way to his cute little face. We'll do his little booty first. All right, um, let's go ahead and start with the Picasso. Since most of you new to inks, on a budget might be wanting to start with this brand first. This is going to be kind of a yellowish, a yellowish orange. It's really pretty. All right, so like I was saying, it's more of a yellower on the orange scale. So, and we're just going to start going in. Getting in the little cracks is going to be the hardest. That's when you've got to put some ink around the outer edge of your little 
in your little uh, felt pad there. And then we're just gonna do this all the way up. See how pretty that is? And that is one of your more exp inexpensive brands of inks. And I'm just gonna go through and do all the little edges of them like that. And just put a little alcohol in here. Kind of reactivate what's drying out. So yeah, if you notice it stops stamping, just put a little bit of ink uh, alcohol on it and it'll reactivate any of the ink still left in the pad. And you can keep going. If it starts looking too light and you want it a little bit darker, either go over it a second time or just add a little bit more of the ink to your felt pad. My allergies are really bad and I'm sniffing a lot, so I'm probably going to put you on fast forward from here on out so that you don't have to listen to me sniff. And uh, we can get through this whole pumpkin stamping thing, pouncing, in a timely manner. So cute. It's adorable. Adorable. Not very bright, but okay. get the picture right it's adorable it's adorable I like it oh now we have to seal it with Kamar a few coats of that and um, then it'll be ready to set outside set indoors Put it on a dining room table with some leaves and you know 
in your fall decor. It's adorable. I love it. I want to take this time to once again thank Donna from It's Art by Donna for including me in this wonderful collaboration that she's put together and to also let you know that Yanya from JB Poor Art is up next. You can find the playlist for all of the wonderful artists in this collab including those from the 13th, 14th, and 15th down in my description and just hit play all so you don't miss any of them. And until next time, happy Halloween, everyone. I hope it's magical for you. I think he turned out really cute, and I hope you stick around for some outtakes from making this video. <laughs>